Hey guys, how are you? After the last video, I was given a lot of advice to experiment with the aperture on my 50mm f1.8 lens, and that is what I am doing right now. From where I'm sitting, I still have a little bit of difficulty getting it focused, but once I did, I kind of just held my hand backwards behind me and let it focus, and then just sat in that particular spot. And from the screen, it looks like it's in focus. We will see in post production, but I'm gonna say it's looking pretty good right now. That said, I really wanna talk about something that I get a lot of questions about, which is my color correction techniques. I do use Final Cut Pro 10 as my editor. It has gotten a lot of critique from the professional film industry because it's so different than Final Cut 7, but it's kind of like a new platform that they're eventually gonna build up. Final Cut 10 is going to be like a, a base mark where they're only gonna move up from, so I find it to be something useful that will eventually get better over time. I also found Final Cut 10 to be the most affordable editor in my price range. It's only about $300 in the Mac App Store, I believe. But the real trick to my video editing is not necessarily Final Cut 10, but Magic Bullets Mojo, which is a plugin for Final Cut 10. Not sure how many of you are familiar with Magic Bullets. It's the same type of application that is used in Adobe Premiere, I believe After Effects. It's a, a very popular color correction technique. Mojo, which is the version that goes in Final Cut 10, is a sort of dial down version. You kind of just get um, different effects which are already built into Final Cut 10, but these are plug-in ones with specific color correction attached. The real reason that I'm a fan of Magic Bullets Mojo is because it is also affordable. It is only $49.99 for the plug-in to put it into your Final Cut 10 application. Generally, what I don't like to do is get very good lighting in my images, kind of like this. This is gonna be a raw clip you're gonna see right now, and then sort of add some type of Magic Bullets Mojo effect onto it and then mess around with the levels to cater to my specific lighting. The one that I tend to use a lot is Mojito, which I'm sure you'll see if you download the plugin yourself. Generally, it's kind of like a, it gives you the Mojo look, but kind of dialed down, not too intense and not too high of contrast so you can take advantage of bright lighting situations. So I hope this answered everyone's question as to what my secret is to color correction in Final Cut 10. For YouTube videos, it's generally what I use. And even if I'm doing type, some type of like artsy video for say like a family member or for maybe school or something, I do always use Magic Bullets Mojo as well. But in someone who's using Final Cut 10 probably doesn't wanna get that in depth anyway probably just like someone like me who's kind of like a youtuber sort of like an amateur slash intermediate videographer or filmmaker thank you guys so much for watching as always my social links will be below if you have some specific questions feel free to contact me on facebook twitter instagram all those fun places and let me know what you think of the 50 millimeter f 1.8's video quality now that i've kind of gotten my f-stop and shutter speed down pat you guys are awesome and i will see you in the next video goodbye